Hi, everyone. Happy summer. I just worked out, so <laughs> I'm a little disheveled right now. I think I stumbled upon something, and this is really going to hit home for women over the age of 50, perimenopausal or menopausal. I've had a lot of people asking me about the weight loss injections like Wagovi, Ozempic, Manjaro. Wagovi is FDA approved for weight loss, but you know, I, I wanted to see, can I do this naturally, especially with myself, because um, when you're perimenopausal or menopausal, it is so hard to lose weight. And if you have weight to lose and you're not 50 yet, you got to get on it because it gets so much harder after 50. And so I want to just share what I did because over the last two and a half weeks, I'm six pounds down. And um, it, and not just being six pounds down, but I actually feel better because I'm eating much better. So I thought I'd share what I did. Um, yeah, do I prescribe medications and, and do a lot of um, prescription weight loss? Of course, with patients, sure. But um, I also like to find what really works naturally. So here's what I've done recently. Um, I'm, it's my own natural um, competitor to Wagovi, I guess. Um, so on day one, uh, the first thing I did, a hard boiled egg in the morning. That's what I had. Now you don't have to have a hard boiled egg. You can do scrambled. You can, you know, however you want to do an egg or you can choose a different type of protein. But a hard boiled egg is about 90 calories and doing it hard boiled, um, I'm not really having any butter or anything else with it. So day one, I just had one hard boiled egg in the morning. Then throughout the day, because I'm a coffee girl, I had coffee and 2% milk. No sugar, of course. I did add pumpkin spice, um, seasoning or some cinnamon depending I think it's all mixed together but and then uh, didn't eat anything else until the evening and I had a can of tuna with mustard mixed in um, I happen to love tuna and I always have a lot of tuna stocked around the house because I think it just lasts forever and it's a good thing to have um, but you could choose if you don't like that you could do like canned salmon or you could do a can of um, the chicken breast but it's that portion control because it says the calories on it and everything's already measured out so really easy to, to figure out what calories you're getting in. And that's what I did on day one. So of course the next day when I woke up, I was two pounds down. Now that's not fat, of course that's all water weight because when you totally eliminate carbs for a day, your fat is going to release water. Um, water uh, has an affinity for fat in the presence of sugar. So um, when you're not eating carbs, it just falls off. So then what I did the next day is, and I've had other videos about talking about rule of five weight of eating, and but I'll tell you exactly what I ate. So then the next day I did eggs again. Um, I think I did hard boiled because I just ended up cooking up the whole batch of the egg carton. So I had a hard boiled egg. I might've even had two. I'm not, I can't really remember. And then at lunch, I did um, a turkey sandwich with, with Dave's bread, which ended up being, if you count the carbs and divide it by the fiber, it came to a five or less. Because that's what you do with rule of five. You divide the carbs by the fiber, and if the answer is five or less, you can eat that. And then um, some mustard on that. And, and then for dinner, a salad and with some chicken in it. So the main thing I've been doing is, for dinners, just been doing either a cob salad or a big salad, and I put... I might put some um, trail mix in it that doesn't have any fruit, and then I'll put either chicken or, or salmon or something on that. Um, so when I want to, um, when I hit a plateau, that's when I do the egg and tuna day again, and so on. So I'm eating a lot of food. I'm having. Um, I used to love those acai bowls you could buy, um, but I kind of made my own. I got the um, the sugar free yogurt, and then I cut up the strawberries, a half a banana. Um, I put some watermelon in there, and um, the Kashi cereal is my substitute for granola because you can find the one that um, scores a five or less. And, oh, and I actually found tortillas. It was called Carb Zero Tortillas. So I'll put turkey or cheese in that, and I'll make like a little sandwich with a tortilla. So I've been doing that too. And, and this is without really w working out yet. I mean, I like to ride my bike anyway, but I haven't been riding it hard. Like just now it's really hot outside. I'm in Arizona, I wanna say, I think the temperature got to 107 today. So I just went on a, 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 an uphill walk in the neighborhood and really pushed myself. Um, and then I just bought some weights. I'm gonna start doing that. So um, I'm trying to not go too crazy. I'm trying to eat because I don't wanna lose muscle mass, but 
I wanted to share this with you because I've had other videos in the past where I talk about weight loss, but to me this is more um, of just like a healthy way of eating and a more realistic way to go about it. Um, I've been inspired by a couple of my patients because um, they've made big changes and oh my gosh, their back pain or their knee pain or whatever has gone away. And I have to say my chronic back pain that I have from years of lifting patients is so much better now. In fact, we went on a trip last week and I was really worried because in the past sometimes I'll hurt my back while we're on a trip. Nope, I was able to ride my bike and go walking and 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 no issues. So I think when you're eating really healthy and getting your fruits and vegetables and your salads and your proteins and avoiding sugar because I admit I love a dessert here and there. I love an oatmeal chocolate chip cookie or um, oh my gosh do I love frozen yogurt with toppings. <laughs> oh my gosh frozen yogurt is so good but I'm sure there's a ton of sugar in it. Yeah it's got probiotics and uh, it's not like I'm never going to eat frozen yogurt again. I've just right now I'm trying to um, it's it's not even for vanity's sake. I want to lose more weight just literally um, to help my back pain. I don't have issues with my knee or hips yet, knock on wood. <laughs> but, you know, I just thought I'd share that because I know a lot of my viewers are women over 50. And I, even the tiniest little cheat, like one little cookie, it'll throw us off for two days because it raises our insulin. Insulin will take that sugar and store it as fat. It's the fat storing hormone. And so to bring your insulin down, you wanna avoid simple carbohydrates, which are your sugars. You wanna go for complex carbohydrates. So love apples, love strawberries, um, that multi-grain bread, but again, you gotta look at that label. So look at the carbohydrates, look at the fiber, divide it, and if the answer is five or less, that's a really good choice. Sometimes it's just simpler though, just to look for no carb bread or no carb tortillas. Um, and uh, and then I used to do skim milk all the time, but I'm doing 2% right now because it does fill you up longer. And I think they did a study that people dr drinking skim milk versus those on 2% or whole over the long term, the people on 2% or whole lost more weight because like probably they were fuller longer and didn't get that insulin spike. And then, and then you crave and you get hungrier and hungrier. So, um, I still intermittent fast. I try not to eat after six or seven o'clock at night. And then in the morning, um, I don't really start eating until lunchtime. So when I say I have breakfast, the egg I eat probably isn't before 10 a.m. And, you know, but I'll have like, you know, probably around starting around eight in the morning. I'll, that's when I'll start coffee with milk. Uh, and I don't even really miss the sweeteners or the sugar. Did I used to love going to coffee places, um, Starbucks or whatever, and getting a, a pumpkin spice latte or all that? And it's like, yeah, that's why over the last year, that 10 pounds just cre crept right back onto me, even though um, I, I've lost five or 10 pounds. It, 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 in the summer, I always tend to lose weight because that's when I have more time and I can really work on my own health versus always trying to help um, other people lose weight. Summertime is I can kind of help myself. Um, but I wanted to share that because if any of you are just getting frustrated and, you know, everyone's trying to be on something to help them, I just thought, well, gosh, this is just as fast as the prescription stuff. So, and again, some people do great on the prescription, whether it's the injection or oral medication and whatever works for them. Just like me cutting my hair. I, I cut my own hair because it works for me. I understand my hair. For me, uh, I'm figuring out Avoiding sugar for my body helps me lose weight. Um, I'm at an age where I remember the fat-free craze, but I lost weight back then when I was doing fat-free, but I was a lot younger, so I wasn't insulin resistant back then. And us women over 50, we tend to get very insulin resistant. So I think avoid, of doing that is pretty easy. Um, so a good idea to incorporate a walk every day and then just gradually, um, I'm gonna be doing weights, but when I do them, I'm gonna be laying on the floor so I don't hurt my back and then I'll just lift weights off the floor. I'll probably start that tonight. And um, just about three times a week you should do that and then some type of like walking or biking or, or something um, that your body can tolerate during the day. Anyway, so wanted to share that. Um, let me know if you're doing something different or if you have a tip or something else that has helped sparked your weight loss. Um, I would love to talk about it and know it too. But I'll keep you posted on how this is going and if there's any other tweaks I can figure out. All right, see you on the next one.